truth. The creatures of the deep will rise up when we sit on our hands and do nothing. It's clear from the moment you open this book that it was not written by Jacques Cousteau or some other nature-loving pansy. Finally, someone who sees the creatures of the deep for what they are. The sworn enemy of all mankind. This book must be seen by all 7.125 billion people in the world before we succumb to the evil conspiracy of the creatures of the deep. I have attached some photos as evidence of the foul intention of these supervillains. Photo number one, Zemeko Shark. It all starts out with an innocent fishing trip. Next thing you know, Ted Nugent is missing a leg. Photo two, even the majestic Ray has his eyes on eradicating all of mankind. One crushed dinghy at a time. Photo three, you think I say it's just because he cut off their heads? Think again, Gilbert Gottfried. You just became your dinner's dinner. Photo number four, you think you'd pull away and not sit there while the sofa slowly severs your leg above the knee one stroke at a time. But you won't. You will just stay there and shake your fist while your misshapen headed friend watches in awe, such as the power of the creatures of the deep. Photo number five, they know how to hit us where it hurts too. Even the family friendly pets are not safe from the creatures of the deep. <laughs> Here's a picture I saw in my dream once. I just wanted to show it off because I can't think of anywhere else to put it. <laughs>